this papa leaf you're looking at right now is a very good remedy for hair growth to grow your hair to give you a very good shiny hair to give you a thicker a longer a stronger hair so i'm going to show you guys how to make this leaf and how to extract the juice in a simple way to use it to grow your hair and how to use it and what to do if you're using papaya leaf for hair growth <music> welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys this papaya leaf recipe for extreme hair growth it's going to boost hair growth give you a shiny hair so to prep this papaya leaf extra we are going to first of all clean the leaf so i'm going to remove the stem from the leaf should i call it the stem or part of the leaves so i'm going to remove the stem and let me just call it stem from the leaf and then prepare on how to extract the juice i'm going to use the manual way of extracting this juice and before we do that i need to wash this because they are very very dirty the one i plucked is very very dirty so i need to make sure that i am extracting a very good clean juice like papaya leaf extract i'm going to get a papaya leaf extract that is very very clean and healthy for my scalp so i'm going to wash this thing thoroughly like guys i'm going to make sure that i get all the sand all the dirt all the yama yama that is sticking on the leaf out before i can proceed on doing something on extracting the leaf juice so guys i'm going to tell you guys the reason why you should use papaya leaf or you should consider using papaya leaf for hair growth so guys when it comes to papaya leaf papaya leaf are high in essential vitamins and minerals such as vitamin a vitamin c e calcium magnesium and potassium these nutrients nourish the hair follicles promote hair growth and contribute to overall hair health papaya leaf extract can help balance the ph of the scalp create an environment that promotes healthy hair health as you can see right now the water is very very dirty from the first wash like guys water is very dirty so i have to rewash it again just to ensure that the leaf is very very clean for me to use for my hair because i can create a environment that is going to cause irritation on my hair so i have to make sure that this leaf is very very clean like i said earlier so guys if you are washing your leaves or anything you're using for your hair and the water that you use to wash it comes out very dirty ensure to wash it more than once to ensure that you are using a clean leaves so after cleaning the leaves so the next we are going to do is extracting the papaya leaf extract and we are going to be kneading or squeezing them together like you just be crushing it with your two hands and you are going to put it in a big bowl that is going to enable you to have a bigger space for you to actually work with it so I added a little bit of water so that it's going to enable me to infuse this extract into my water because I'm using a smaller leaf if you're using a bigger leaf you're going to extract the papaya leaf without adding any water but the fact that i'm using small papaya leaves i'm going to use water just to infuse the juices into my water so that's why i'm adding my water but if you're using much papaya leaf you don't need to add any water just be squishing them just be rubbing them together the juice will be coming out so i'm just going to be doing this thing till i make sure that all the leaves are crushed together and then the water will be changing color and the leaves will be getting so tiny so i'm just going to do this now and after doing it for a few minutes which i did for like 20 minutes i just gathered the leaf before because i'm going to be separating them so i need to gather the leaf out first so that i can actually separate it easier and smoother for me so this is how the leaf is looking like guys it's looking so crushed and this is the water guys the water is looking so greeny like the juice has infused into my water so i'm going to separate them right now so i'm separating them with my strainer you can use a cheesecloth if you want to and guys this is the papaya leaf extra we are going to be using for our hair and easy to make easy to get you don't say papaya leaf out there you just pluck it from the farms and you're going to make this juice so guys this papaya leaf extract has a lot of benefit it works a lot of wonders to the hair so i'm going to show you guys how i apply this particular leaf extract to my hair so guys i'm going to be working with my mini braids my three weeks old mini braids i think Many, three weeks or four weeks old mini braids so i'm going to just going to be applying to my hair i'm just going to make sure that my hair is saturated with this because i'm using this as my moisturizer so i'm going to be using it as my leave-in spray but there's a way i work with this as a leave-in spray i don't know whether you might like the smell of this but me the smell is not bad to me i like the smell is i'm comfortable with the smell so if you don't like the smell you can use this as a rinse out spray after applying to your hair you're going to cover it for a few minutes then you're going to wash it out but me that i'm using as a leave-in spray there's a technique that i use just to ensure that my hair gets all these nutrients into my scalp into my follicles and i apply this to on my edges and i'm going to massage my scalp massage my edges guys one thing about this spray is that if you have a dull hair and your hair is not always bright this spray is going to brighten your hair it's going to give you a shiny hair a softer hair and this spray contains amino acid which is the papaya leaf extract it contains amino acid which helps to strengthen your hair 
taking your hair give you a good and a vibrant thick hair guys so guys we wonder why am i covering my hair if i'm going to be using this as a leave-in spray i'm going to cover my hair for at least 20 minutes so that it's going to help me to heat up my hair for my hair follicles to open up and take this just notice that i already apply this water so i'm going to carry this for 20 minutes after 20 minutes then i'm going to then moisturize with my leave-in conditioner then seal in my oils and for those that want to use this as a rinse out spray just cover your hair for at least one hour after one hour you can then shampoo your hair and then moisturize your hair with your leave-in conditioner and your oil but me that's going to use it as a leave-in spray i'm just going to allow this to sit on my hair for at least 20 minutes thanks so much for watching this video please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video take care guys bye